All right, today on Free Field Training, we are talking about the A Tactical A1S. We've reviewed the A Tactical A1 before. You can see the little link up there. And the A1S is identical to it in almost every way, except that instead of 550 lumens, it's 1100 lumens. And the bezel on this is a little different. This one has kind of a strike bezel and this one has a normal bezel. So the, the A1S has the strike bezel, something that eh, isn't a real huge deal to me. But size and weight and all that is all identical for both of these lights. The operation is the same. You still have a tail cap switch here with a momentary and click on. And the UI is still the metal button in the front that allows you to go through the modes and flash and hold it down and get strobed. So it works pretty much the same way. So to see the difference between the two, you have to go to a field test. So that's what we're gonna look at now. Now the first test that I did was down a standard residential alley. You can see the A Tactical A1 and how well it does right here. It really throws, which has been what I have really latched onto with it because it sets it apart from other cheaper flashlights. You get a lot of cheap flashlights where the company doesn't put time into making a reflector that actually throws, so what you end up with is a floodlight. And this stands out as being a cheap flashlight, this is only $20, that throws. Now the A-Tactical A1S, the big difference you can see here is in the size of the LEDs inside. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the size of the LEDs inside here, the A1S has a larger LED, I wasn't sure how that was gonna do, if they used the same reflector as they did before, how well it would throw, but it seems to throw really well and it puts out a whole lot more light. So it kind of bridges that gap between the floodlight and the throwing light. It still seems to get just as much throw as the A1. In fact, it even rivals the throw of my Streamlight Stinger LED that I use as the standard of measure for these lights. Of course, going through tinted auto glass, they all do really well. It's up close, when you start getting over 250, 300 lumens, everything does pretty well going through tinted auto glass. But we're gonna throw that in there just because it's what we show in everything and somebody would complain if we didn't show it. So between the two, the A Tactical A1 or the A1S, if I had to buy one, it'd kind of be a toss up. To be honest with you, I've been using this for about three months now, the A Tactical A1. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen when I go camping and stuff, I bring the A1 with me. I've been beating the crap out of it and it, it doesn't really show a whole lot of wear a little bit on the edges and stuff from me carrying it around. It's all just got honest wear on it for me, honestly using it. And I've been really happy with it. I haven't felt the need for more light out of it. The A1S definitely throws out a whole lot more light. And I'm sure it would be really useful for people who are going to use it for more serious applications than what I'm using it for. I'm just using them as an EDC light. Uh, I've been really happy with the battery situation with these where it comes with a battery that you plug right into a USB to charge. That's really, really cool. And everybody at work has been pretty jealous of them too, especially at the price point. These are not expensive lights at all. I'll put a link down in the description below for them. But this one, the A Tactical A1S, I'm actually giving to a friend of mine who's gonna use it at work because that's the only way I can gather to to try to break these. My son's already got a couple of flashlights and I'm using this one right now. So he's gonna use this at work and we'll see how it holds out and what he thinks of it. I really can't give a stronger endorsement than I would give a product to a friend of mine to use for police work. There's not much better I can say about a light. I'd like to thank all the Patreon supporters and especially the shift supervisor level Patreon supporters that we have listed here. Your contributions are what allows free field training to continue on and become better.